card. Okay. So another way that we can take our opponent's jab away from him and start to use it as my own so that I have an ability to control the fight. So I'm always sticking the jab in his face. I'm always making it difficult and annoying for him. And I'm always able to dictate the, the pace and the timing of the round. Uh, this is going to be the pull jab, okay? So let's say the guy is just, he seems to be better than me at striking. Anytime I set my hands to go and strike, I'm already getting the jab back in my face. Anytime I set to go and strike, he's already uh, punching me in the face, okay? I can't have this. I can't have him constantly dictating the fight against me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw a feint. I'm going to throw between five and 15% of the technique. I believe the best way to feint is to actually throw the beginning part of the technique. So if I'm here and as I start to throw the jab, he goes to punch me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back and then as his hand comes back, I'm going to go and I'm gonna punch him. So I, I pull, I pull back when he throws his strike and then when his hand goes back, I come in, okay? So it looks something like this. I go here, boom, boom, okay? I'm here, I faint, he comes in and I throw the strike. I faint, he comes in and I throw the strike. I faint, he comes in and I throw the strike, okay? So that's another great way to make sure you can take his jab away from him and be the one that's applying the jab the whole time. You wanna leave the dance and you wanna control the fight with that jab. Thank you guys so much. Many ways to use this pull counter and later we'll be going on how to use it to set up the rest of our punches. But here's a great example of Floyd Mayweather using this pull.